A massive muddy mess left behind after this week's intense rain. People taking advantage of a dry day finally trying to get things cleaned up. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Susie Sa. And I'm Juan Fernandez. People in several communities are digging out from the mud and debris all the rain sent their way. That's right. We have live team coverage this afternoon. Meteorologist Marquina Brown is tracking the next round of rain headed our way. But we begin with KCAL 9's KCAL's Jeff Nguyen with the aftermath from the last one. Jeff? So Susie and Juan, right now you can see there is still a lot of mud right around me. It is very thick. It is well past my ankle. And in fact, the mud level goes up to about the uh, bottom of this car. Let's do this right now. Let's kick it up to our drone because from our drone, you can see there are about a handful of cars that are stuck in the mud right now. Earlier, we spoke to a tow truck driver who told us that because this area is just simply too slippery right now, they cannot pull out any cars, which is why you see the public works crew right there digging out those cars with heavy machinery and by hand. Heavy equipment has been scraping and hauling massive amounts of mud and debris around Fredonia Drive and Wrightwood Lane in Studio City. But for Scotty Leslie and Julie Gannis, it's been backbreaking work. It's been difficult. It's the second day of shoveling for this couple. They had to work through three feet of mud yesterday just to get their garage open. To get to their cars, their good friend Dave Barr, who's a contractor and another neighbor, offered to pick up shovels as well. I was talking to Scotty this morning, and he says, I said a prayer for my wife to give her the strength to shovel it because Scotty's sick himself. In Sherman Oaks, a security camera captured Ruben Quinones inspecting his home as debris flowed into his property Sunday night. Definitely water there. I'm not sure what is going to be salvageable. He's hired a cleanup crew of eight to haul away the mess. So far, all of the work here has been done by hand with uh, shovels, and Quinona says it only took workers about an hour to fill up this bin. And I didn't realize that it had this much mud, so I, I, I have a few more bins coming out. I hiked up the hill, around, back down, and came out through a neighbor's yard on the other side. Stephen Quant can't walk through the front gate of his Hollywood Hills home because he's got three feet of mud. LA Public Works reopened this drain yesterday to help the water recede, some of which was trapped inside his garage. I can watch the water draining out of the garage for over an hour. This is the only drain for the neighborhood that, like the rest of Southern California, is poised for another round of rain. I'm really scared about it. Back here live with our drone, you can see the workers digging out that truck right there by hand. They're not just working to clear out the space for the truck, but that is also the spot where the drainage is as well. We spoke to Public Works earlier, and the hope is that all of this will be cleared out by tomorrow evening. For now, we are live in Studio City. Jeff Nguyen, KCAL News. All right.